Disney's Animal Kingdom is back to closing super early and all of the shows are gone. Has this park become a half-day park that you don't need more than a few hours to visit? We're taking a look and helping you plan your Animal Kingdom day for 2021. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Hollywood Studios has Star Wars, Epcot and Magic Kingdom are both getting big ticket new rides in 2021, and Animal Kingdom has Pandora. We love Flight of Passage, seeing all the live animals and taking in the sights in this park, but it's definitely getting less of the love lately. The good news, you can probably get a park pass to visit any day of the week. The bad news, a lot of the stuff that makes Animal Kingdom worth more than a few hours of your day isn't happening at the beginning of 2021. So how do you plan? Well, we've got loads of tips in this video and we know you guys love taking notes, so we made things easy for you. Head to DisneyFoodBlog.com DAK 2021 to get a free printable download of this list sent straight to your inbox. By entering your email address, you're also signing up for our totally free newsletter, which will bring you the latest news and updates from Disney World right away. Both our Animal Kingdom guide and our newsletter are valuable resources to help plan your upcoming vacation. So head to DisneyFoodBlog.com DAK 2021 to get your free copy. Now let's get to those tips. Number one, pick your park day. We've talked about this in our other park guides. Disney World is using the Park Pass Reservation System right now, where you reserve your spot at the park you want to visit on the day you want to visit. This is the only way to guarantee you will get to go to that park on the day you want, and it's super important. You could wing all of your dining reservations and still find a meal, but if you don't have a park pass, you might not be getting into a Disney park at all. Now, Animal Kingdom has less exciting new stuff going on than Disney World's other parks, which means it's a little easier to get a park pass there over Hollywood Studios. We'd recommend making passes for other parks first, then booking your Animal Kingdom day. We'd still recommend doing it as soon as you get your tickets because days do sell out, but Animal Kingdom's going to be the one you can sort of rely on not selling out till later. If you visited during a holiday weekend, get your tickets early so you can book those park passes early. You can currently book park passes into January of 2022, so you can book way far in advance if you want to. Park hopping is coming back as of January 1st, but keep in mind that you can only visit or hop to a second park after 2 p.m. and Animal Kingdom closes around 5 or 6 p.m. Extra magic hours aren't running right now, so Disney hotel guests don't get any extra time in the parks and FastPass is still on hold, so you'll be waiting in line for everything. Stay on top of park hours though. Animal Kingdom opens and closes the earliest of all four parks, so you might not want to schedule it after your late night in Epcot or Disney Springs. All right, so here's how to get to the park. Getting to Animal Kingdom is much more straightforward than any other park. You either take the bus or you drive. If you're staying close to Animal Kingdom at Animal Kingdom Lodge or the All-Star Resorts or Coronado Springs, you'll have a shorter drive to the park. If you're staying further away, basically anywhere else, it's going to take a lot longer. So plan accordingly and leave yourself plenty of time to get to that park. Sometimes it's 20 minutes or more. If you want to make rope drop to be one of the first in line for Flight of Passage when the park opens, find out when the buses start running and try to be on the first one. Now, Animal Kingdom's park hours are going to affect that, so Animal Kingdom does open earlier than the other parks. During the holidays, the park opened at 7 a.m., but come later in January and February, it's scheduled to open at 9 and 8. Disney has been changing hours a lot recently, so stay on top of that schedule and know when the parks are opening during your visit. If you want to make the most of your day and ride as many rides as possible in a short amount of time, plan to arrive before or at park opening so you're one of the first in the park. Most people tend to arrive at Disney's parks around 10 a.m., so show up earlier and that can give you a good chunk of time to knock out the park's top rides. So get there right at opening 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. This is a good park to plan a park hopping day around. If you arrive early, you can accomplish a lot before 2 p.m. and then hop to your second park. We're going to experience the new park hopping for the first time later this week, so stay tuned. All right, so which rides do you hit first in Animal Kingdom? Well, if you arrive early, head to Pandora first for Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey. Flight of Passage is the ride of the park, and it will have long lines from park open to park close. Navi is also going to have long lines because it doesn't have as high a capacity as Flight of Passage. If there's already a super long line for Flight of Passage, try Navi River Journey or opt to knock off Kilimanjaro Safari or Expedition Everest from your list. In reality, there aren't too many rides in the park that are going to draw super 
hour-long lines that won't start to dip throughout the day, and you won't see hours-long waits for multiple rides in Animal Kingdom throughout the day. Flight of Passage is the only big exception. If you can get in line first thing in the morning, do it. That is when the line will be shortest. Otherwise, try your luck and hop in line right at the end of the night. When park hopping returns, more people may head somewhere else, meaning crowds are lower in Animal Kingdom. We'll be keeping an eye on the trends over at DisneyFoodBlog.com. All right, so you got to eat. Animal Kingdom is kind of the sleeper hit for good theme park food. There are a lot of delicious and unique dishes to be found all over the park. For quick service, we'd recommend Flame Tree Barbecue for big portions and tasty barbecue, Satuli Canteen for customizable, healthier meals, and Harambe Market for curries and unique flavors. But keep an eye on those hours. Some of these will only be open on weekends, and that'll change up. Now, for table service, try Tiffin's if you like fancy and adventurous eats, and Yak and Yeti for some more huge portions and a varied menu. Tusker House is still closed, though this character meal location could return later in 2021, so keep an eye out if that's something you're interested in. Nomad Lounge is also a great spot to grab a bite, and you don't need to worry about a reservation, though it may show up on the walk-up waitlist feature in the My Disney Experience app, which lets you put your name on the waiting list without having to stop by the restaurant's podium. And Nomad Lounge is the same kitchen as Tiffin's, so you get high-quality food but smaller portions and prices. There are lots of unique snacks in this park, too. The street corn at the Harambe Fruit Market is delicious and unique if it's actually being offered. And you'll find other park-specific snacks at Zuri's Sweet Shop. So other things to consider, no shows are happening right now. Festival of the Lion King and Finding Nemo the Musical are both closed. We're hoping that Disney will bring back these shows once it's safe to do so, though we're not sure when that may be. Now, Rivers of Light, the nighttime show with water projections, might not be coming back at all. In July, there were reports that Rivers of Light, along with Stitch's Great Escape and Primeval Whirl, were permanently closed. Those other two are definitely closed, but Disney has yet to release an official official statement. If the park closes early, you may not get to see Pandora at night with all the bioluminescent plants and cool lighting. This is less of a concern in the winter months, though, when it gets dark early, but in the summer, you might miss it if Disney hasn't extended those park hours yet. You can ride Navi River Journey to get an idea of what the whole land looks like when the sun goes down. Now, when are you done with your Animal Kingdom day? Well, you won't need to worry about the mass exodus at Animal Kingdom. There's nothing to keep the bulk of the crowds there right up until park close. There's no fireworks, no nighttime show to draw people's attention. And with fewer rides than the other parks and no shows right now, most people will consider Animal Kingdom a half-day park again. So use that to your advantage. With park hopping, more people will likely skip out on a full day at Animal Kingdom and lines may start to get shorter towards the end of the day. Plan a nice sit-down meal for after the park closes. You'll still have time to go back to the hotel and change if you plan a late dinner, so use that early close to your advantage too. Don't waste park time, eat after it's closed. And I gotta say, Animal Kingdom is the most chill and relaxing park of all the parks right now. Overall, that park generally is very beautiful and very kind of zen anyway. So spending some extra time wandering around in there when the crowds are a bit lower is actually really, really nice and relaxing in the middle of your Disney trip. So take advantage of it, look for the silver lining and enjoy. Now, will you be spending a whole day at Animal Kingdom in 2021, or are you looking to get everything done early and hop to a park with newer and more exciting rides? Let us know in the comments, because we'd love to hear how you're planning your next Disney trip. And don't forget to pick up a copy of all the info we shared in this video by heading to DisneyFoodBlog.com slash DAK2021. I hope these tips and advice helped you feel more confident about planning your Animal Kingdom day. We've certainly got a lot to look forward to this year at Disney World, but Animal Kingdom is an amazingly unique and detailed park, and we here at DFB adore it. For more resources on this trip planning, subscribe to our channel and follow us along at DisneyFoodBlog.com. We'll have ultimate guides to all of the parks. We think we already have Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and here's Animal Kingdom. We've got Magic Kingdom coming up really soon for you. So thank you guys for listening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you are planning your trip, head on over to DFBStore.com. Pick up our huge guidebook. We put everything we know into that guidebook. It is so detailed and so, so worthwhile and useful. And there's a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't find it as useful as I do, you can just let us know and we'll get your money back to you. That's dfbstore.com. Don't forget to use code YouTube to pick up those guides. 
As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Vlog, and we'll see you real soon.